M0 FXB Andre. M0 FXB just got this DV Mega. It's on a blue stack, so it doesn't need a Raspberry Pi. It's got built in Bluetooth and it will work on your PC and your Android device. If the red button here is in, it's on the connected to the PC. If it's out, then it will Bluetooth to your Android device. So right now it's plugged into the PC. I haven't had to do anything to it. There's no SD card. So it's plugged straight in. Then I've downloaded, I've gone here and downloaded the Blue DV software. You just select your Windows here and then you get these different options to download the software. So choose the right one. When it's downloaded, it will look like this. Uh, a bit confusing because I've got one on the on that. So anyway, it will look like that. So okay. So we're gonna have a go at setting it up on the ICOM 5100, which is over here. So the first thing you do is just make sure you're not in DR mode. DR mode is looks like that. You can see the link to reflector and all that kind of info. Um, so out of DR mode you just hit the DR button and you're in normal VFO mode so first thing you do is select menu go through but find DV memory click DV memory then repeat a list you've got all these that will already be in there from your CSV file uh, I'll go to one I've already cr uh, created which is hotspot. If you wanted to create a new one, you just go 29, tap it. See, it says blank. If you tap it and hold it, you can name it. Like So you could call it DV Mega. Okay? Go back. I don't want to add any more. So I'll go to one that I've already named. Once you've named it, select it, and then that's my hotspot that's already in there. That's my DV Mega. So let's act like we're going to do a new one. So hold your finger on DV Mega, click Add. Um, then I selected for the Mega, I selected DV Simplex. Um, the name, then it would have been DV Mega. We just put DV for now. Enter. Subname, we'll put Mega. But you could put where you are, you could put home. Enter. That's the group that we named. Uh, use from, I always put yes. Frequency, yeah, put in your DV mega frequency, which is four, on my one it's 434.600. So enter, position, just put approximate, put in your longitude, latitude, offset, just put any, put what you, what, what is for your country. Um, yeah, there's no shift on this. So then we're going to click add right, yes, and then it's there. So now let's let's um let's go to DV here, the setup menu. You have to be logged off here. Click setup. Try and get it to tune a bit better. So as you can see, I've got my call sign in there. I found the com by just when I plugged in the DV Mega, I went to Device Manager um, here at the bottom. I just typed in Device Manager and then I c clicked it. I'll show you. Um, so go like this D E V I C E, Device. And then it should come up there somewhere. At the top, there it is there. So I just click that. Then go click ports, double click. When it's plugged in, it will show these. And then what I did, if I'm not sure, I just unplug it while it's on. And then the one you want vanishes. And so on mine, it's number 11. Close that down. Then, so get your call sign in there. Your frequency you're going to use. I left all these as they were really, even that. I did tell it to by default connect to reflector 30 and I and it, on the boot up it will connect because I've enabled at start here. 
there's my DMR numbers for, for that. But right now we're doing D-Star. But you get your DMR number in there. I put a selected BM for Brandmeister, and it will boot up on 2341GB. There's a long list that you can select on that. And the list changes. If you go to DMR Plus or XLX, then you get a different kind of list. I've left the password as default. The reason that says Phoenix is because I was using DMR Plus and, and going onto the Phoenix system. So there's your location. You can get that in there if you want because it does do APRS, this system. So anyway, that's all set up. So to connect, it should, with a bit of luck, just connect to 31 Charlie as soon as I turn this top one on. So I've, I've told it to by default. So look, straight away, it's connected and someone's transmitting. So with a bit of luck, if we go back to the radio, hit DR mode, and then what we got to find, ah, oh, there it is there, it's already on the, we got, we have to select the bottom one, go into repeater list, hotspot, and then we have to select the one I just did, turn it up. I think I had like, I don't know, 11 or whatever. So now, I chose that's coming own. from the DV Mega, and you got this window here. As you can see, Why my router you get all the information. I guess is what you I'm can asking. select different kinds of yeah, information I'm along here. So I'm gonna play around with it. If you want to change reflector, so you just that's select that's from this the, list uh, and then click uh, link. Or probably so sensible uh, to unlink first. So it's pretty cool. Here's the little DV Mega flashing away. Okay, I appreciate it. We'll talk again soon. I'll turn it down. Now, if you want to. Um, use it on your Android device, remember to push the little red button so it comes out and then uh, I'll do a separate video on doing it that way. M0FXB Hi Carol Fox, Henry Bravo, you are crystal clear into the reflector. Yeah, thanks very much, just setting up a, a DV Mega, I do have a a jumbo spot, but I thought I'd set this mega up. It's got the blue stack hat or uh, underneath it basically, which also runs the Bluetooth system. But right now it's connected to my PC, and normally when I'm setting up, I set it up as a repeater on my on my say my Kenwood D74. Well, I'm on a 5100 now, but in this case I had to set it up as a, a, a simplex to to allow it to work. So glad that my uh, audio is good. Back to you, Andrea, Southwest UK. Yep, QSO. Well, your audio is perfect. Um, nice and clear and loud, so it's all good. Yeah, Roger. Thanks very much for that. Um, thanks for coming back to me, and I'll, I'll go back on the site now. Um, located southwest UK. It's about 11 a.m. here. M0FXB73.